What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DJ Banks, aka Banks, and you're now tuned in with We Are Jersey, and I'm here with my guy Eric the Red. What's going on, What's my brother? brother? Thank you for coming through. You already What's going know. On my brother, you know what I mean? my brother has put out a album. It was on December 27, 2022, eight track EP called Diamond Cutter. My birthday, you know. Oh, so that's the significance of it. Oh, see, look at that. Already dropping gems for his birthday. You already know. Of course, of course. We're going to talk about this eight track EP. We're going to talk about everything that has to do with him being a rapper and an artist. So stay tuned. Let's dive right into it, man. Uh, you have a, a very unique background, man. You do the, uh, the you're an artist, you, you're into wrestling. Kind of tell me how that all um, cultivated and came into each other, man. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, like, like I've always been, like, uh, like hardcore fan of hip hop, I've always been like a student of the game, you know. Like I've always been, you know. Like I've, like I started like I started like writing hip hop music maybe like around like thirteen years old. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like I know it sounds like it's gonna sound cliche, but yo, like that ass like me and my man's um, his name's Rav, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, shout out to Rav. He's actually like on the project with me. So me and him started me and him started making music, you know, like together and shit. But me and him like. We went to go watch the movie Eight Mile. Okay, okay, okay. Like, yeah, we was Classic. like, I'll never forget October two thousand two, and we was in eighth grade, and we was like, Yo, let's go watch this fucking M this, let's go watch this fucking Eminem movie because yeah. why not, right? So, yeah, yeah. But yo, like we just came out that theater like, Yo, bro, we, we don't know what the fuck that was, but we got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And it just so happens that you know he was also like a huge wrestling fan, so. He like he's the one who basically like he like put me on into wrestling, you know. But like my grandfather was also a wrestling fan. Okay, okay. So you know like every, so like my earliest memories of just like of just like being a fan of pro wrestling was probably like maybe like ninety five. Okay, know? okay. So it was like like my earliest like my earliest memory of wrestling is probably like Shawn Michaels when he was wrestling um. Like, Yokozuna thing. Oh no okay. no, it was it was Vader. Yeah yeah yeah. It was Shawn Michaels oh, and okay. Vader. So we're going back. We're going back, back. Okay yeah. okay. And, and, and yo, DX I, I swear, stuff, like okay. I think my grandfather thought it was probably real because <laughs> he will go in and shit. Yeah. And I'm just like follow, and I'm like yo yeah, like we're a bet fucking. You know? <laughs> but you know him and my and my boy Rav, you know like the one that I want to go watch fucking Eight Mile with. Yeah. And we was like yo, like we need to like whatever that was in that movie like we need to like figure that shit out and no. do it because that because i was crazy like the whole theater was fucking lit so 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 yeah so it's basically you know what i mean shout out to rap he got me into wrestling and i've like i've been a hardcore fan since absolutely it's a it's a very like like very like niche very unique like um type of art form you know yeah. but it's very it's pretty much like theater you know but pretty much it's a, it's a nice way to kind of let your mind you know wander you know work on them you know your yeah, mental health yeah, to kind of yeah. just alleviate it so seeing some cool moves sure. and everything but you actually have it um your album cover you have like the wrestling like hands with the symbol and everything oh no Got it. well like i want to say first and foremost like yeah. you know i mean shout out to like diamond dallas page you know because i i do acknowledge that you know, like it is DDP. You yeah, know, yeah, You yeah. know, like who was like who was the catalyst and the inspiration. You know, like behind the project. You know, not only him, but just you know, like I was, like I like I always had. You know, like I um like I've always had, like I've always like wanted to like um correlate wrestling with hip hop. But yeah. I, like I never, like I never knew how. You know, yeah. like even even back then. But then you know, like I have to give a huge huge like shout out to like you know like Griselda and like Westside Gun because honestly like. Like he, I feel like he definitely like he found a way to like he found a way to like blend it all together in a way that like a niche audience really got behind them and they love that shit. You Absolutely. Know? Because and you know and 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 you know like seeing like seeing him do that and seeing and seeing like how many people were like like gravitating were like gravitating towards that. Honestly, it was like it was kind of like an inspiration for me. I was like. I was like, wow, like, it's really, like, a huge audience out there. It's a, it was an inspiration to, like, do this project because yeah. I'm, like, it showed me there's really, like, a, you know, there's, like, a demographic out there who, you know, like, it's like they love this shit, you know? Yeah, I thought I was, like, you know, like, for mad years of my life, I'm like, yo, I'm, like, the only one who loves fucking wrestling, but I listen to, like, fucking, like, Black Star and the most of <laughs> right, shit. Right, like, right, right, right. You know, it's just, like, it's just, like, two opposite, completely opposite worlds and shit, but... But you actually incorporated it because you yeah. actually named some of your tracks like rest after wrestling. So you like Steiner, Steiner Brothers. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, DDP, yeah, the DDP, the Brothers and everything. So that's actually um, very unique. And even some of the audio that you have on some of the tracks is like wrestling um, outros and intros from some of the... Uh, for sure, for sure. From some of the announcers and the... Uh, uh, was a... Uh, 
uh, Jock was it Jerry Lawler and all the rest Jerry of Lawler them. and like Tony Schiavone yeah, and those yeah. guys, you know. But um, yeah, like on Diamond Cutter, like um, excuse me, on Diamond Cutter, like it's something that you know, like I did want to incorporate like those like wrestling elements, mm-hmm. but but I don't want to like over flood it. You want to overpower it, right? Right. You right. know, because like I still wanted to, you know, I still wanted like me and all my brothers to you know get you know like you know just get you know like um say different stories and just. You know, like rap about different things, like yeah. outside of wrestling, just no, overall, you know. But you know, but I was just like, like I would just like sprinkle in some like yeah. wrestling, you know. Yeah, you put you put a little bit of you, but still a lot of the the tribe and everything. For sure, and that's for awesome. Sure. Actually, one of like two, I have, I have two specific tracks that I like my favorite. So Paranoia, oh Paranoia, and Moonlight, because Moonlight is just oh, the boom bap. Like y'all did, this, y'all did, this, <laughs> y'all did like that cipher, and Shut it was it was nuts. Like it was my it, brother Key, because <laughs> y'all literally that's my boy Key. Seven tribes. Yeah, y'all definitely, y'all definitely like kept that origin. But even the Paranoia, like putting yourself on it, like just the way that you. You you um you kept that element of the originality of hip hop and everything, oh, and sure. still adding in Thank the you. elements of what you love, the wrestling, and then also your tribe, like putting in the tribe on and everything. So what was it for you, um, having your team a part of your project in a sense? It's just so, it's a solo project, but then having your team just incorporated in some of the uh, singles oh, that you put out. Like you know, honestly, like it's just like it's just something that it was like inevitable, you know? Like it was just like. Like, it was no way that I was going to drop this project and not have, you know, like, you know, like have my tribe on it, you know what I mean? But, you know, and it had to be, you know, like, because honestly, it was supposed to be like seven records. So, I, so like, it made sense having seven tribes on the seventh song, yeah. you know? But, like, me and my mans, we threw, like, a freestyle yeah, at the I end. Yeah, I saw it, yeah, the freestyle know? at but, the end, yeah. Know? But, um, no, yeah, like, it was, like, it was definitely, like, an amazing feeling, especially because, you know, I've been, um... You know, like I've been, like I haven't really been, you know, like active with the with the music for the last like maybe like four years. Mm. I, you know, I kind of had like a, you know, just like a like a, uh, like a hiatus, yeah. yeah, like a hiatus, yeah, you know, yeah. like creative hiatus. But um, you know, like I, you know, like I guess I just I was feeling like jaded. I was feeling I was feeling burnt out because I was just you know I, I've just been like just like writing and recording for like you know like so many years like consistently you know like. Like, like maybe since like 2005 and six when we started, you know, like when me and my man started like doing it seriously around 2005. No, just, absolutely. But um, so it felt, it felt like it just brought that old feeling back, you know, because you know, like we used to, like, like we used to just like have these, you know, like, like big, huge, like you know, crew, you know, like records with all of us and have these, you know, like the whole seven tribes, like around like 2013, 2014. So like it was, like it definitely brought back that, you know, like that old feeling again, that nostalgia. And it, and I felt like that was like a perfect beat to you know because the you know because the beat it, it feels kind of like you know it's like nostalgic it kind of gives you know like like I was trying to go for like you know like kind of like a knife wonder kind of little brother type yeah, of vibe yeah, you know yeah. what I mean because and you know I just felt like um but like the majority of the tape you know the overall sound was like it was slow it was gritty you know it was kind of dark so like I needed something like really like. I and mean, there's something that was like very uplifting at the at the like at the tail end of the tape, Absolutely, you know. Yeah. So it just it just made sense having just everybody spit, you know, just you know, just like back to back to back to back on a on a beat that sounds like you know like some like the throwbacks, yeah, 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 yeah like it, like it like it, it sounds funky, it sounds cool, it sounds fun, you know. But and then no, and then paranoia, you know, like I've like I've noticed like in the past couple of weeks that's another record that everybody's been a lot of people have been like grabbing Sadie towards, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. I try to. Yeah, like on that record, you know, like as you said, I try to like, I try to do something different, but not, you know, like not like steer too much off, off the, the originality o- of it, yeah. overall sound of the project, you know. But you know, because I was trying to like, you know, with, with paranoia, I was trying to like also like do something fun too. You yeah, know? no, absolutely. Yeah, and it looks and it actually gives us a snippet for some of the projects that are gonna come up because you give us a little bit of the originality. Okay, this is the message I was trying to get across. In the project of Rob, I'm gonna give for you sure, guys a little sure. bit of hints of my 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 progression since the hiatus on yeah, what I'm gonna be sure, doing moving for sure. forward. That's dope, man. Now let me ask you, uh, naming the album Diamond Cutter, uh, what made you pick that name for the album? So like Diamond Cutter, so you know if you're like if you're like a wrestling fan, you know you um you know Diamond Cutter is like every wrestler has like a finishing move, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You know everybody you know like. Fucking, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know the curses. Yeah, no, <laughs> go ahead. One of my friends. <laughs> I don't know if you, you know, like Stone Cold Steve Austin had the stunner, the yeah. rock had the rock bottom. Like, 
it was that moment that the crowd just like you went know crazy, went yeah. crazy and they knew that it was over it yeah. was like lights out That's oh you would it. hope it's over they didn't kick out yeah yeah facts right, right. yeah yeah because it'd be those moments that just be crazy you know right. <laughs> but but um no yeah but like diamond cutter you know that was is the finishing move of the wrestler ddp diamond daddy's page you know who who like i said you know like he was you know he was the like, kind of the inspiration behind the project a little Absolutely. bit because he was a like um diamond dallas page he was a pro wrestler that you know he didn't uh he didn't really get into the business until he was like 35 years old mm -hmm. you know which is like a which in the like in the wrestling universe like it's an extremely like late age to Absolutely. really get it's into that into wrestling. Yeah, yeah. because you know it's an extremely extremely like difficult like you know sport yeah sport you know or or like you know like a form of art you know but it's uh like it takes like a lot of years of training you know but the fact that he was able to do it at 35 and he was able to like flourish yeah yeah you know and you know he was like a man of the people you know like i've always you know like when it comes to like you know it's like um like um writing and recording music i felt like you know i felt like for me like you know i can I, I I can admit, like for me, it was like a slow burn, you know. Like I couldn't really I couldn't really figure it out at first. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I felt like maybe I could relate to DDP in a way because I felt like, you yeah, know, it took start, me like yeah, because yeah, it was moments that I just wanted to stop and I just wanted to quit. But like he found his passion at a super late age, yeah, and yeah. he ended up being like a, like a legend at it. So, it, like it's something I could relate to, you know. Like I just turned thirty four <laughs> on the day that the tape dropped, so I'm like, wow, you know, he's. It's pretty cool how yeah, yeah. I thought I was like completely done with music, you and, know. And here you go dropping gems on and, your birthday. And here I go, <laughs> and now I'm back at it. So like, um, you know, it's just so it's just the overall message is just you know it's just never it's never give up on your dream basically. Exactly. Just I I like, like always follow your dream no matter what. Like like you know it's like you're never too old to do like Absolutely. what you love at the end of the day. So fuck it, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Now, um, your your artist name Eric the Red. Where's where's that come from? Where's that? What is that whole? Uh, gem okay. right there in and of itself. <laughs> okay, so okay, so like um like the name I read the red, it's funny because at first it was supposed to be some like you know it was a like, tongue in cheek it was supposed to be like anything like real serious like it was because um um around like 2010 I used to I used to record music like out in Brooklyn you know with my brother Siva you know and like his peoples out there you know that was like the that was the 444 crew, mm -hmm. and that was the people that I was involved with doing music, you know, it was like prior to Seven Tribes. But, um, and yeah, like, around that time, I was just, like, I, like, I just, I was just growing, like, a huge fucking beard and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, like, my boy, my boy Angel, he was like, yo, like, you look like a Viking. Like, <laughs> he would just say that all the time, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, like, whatever. And then, okay, okay. And, at that time, I was going by like a different rap name, and you know, it's like I wanted to change it because you know, like I had, you know, like I was I was like creating music with like new, you know, with like new, um, like new people and new artists. So like I was like, I, you know, I mean, like let me change my name. Yeah, so yeah. he was like, Yo, you, you're like a Viking. So then I kind of like, I, like I kind of like learned that it was a Viking name. Eric the Red, but you know his name was with a K, and I was like, yes, yes, I, you yes. know, fuck it, like you know what, I could be Eric the Red because I'm kind of, I always felt like, I kind of had like with the, a with the Viking kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So okay, I was like, yeah, so like, like I just took it, and like I said, like it wasn't even something that was supposed to like really stick, but, but now I just, it did. I kind of <laughs> ran with it and shit, and That's you know, awesome. but yeah, like you know, like people that you know they like gravitated towards it, so I just ran with it. That's but, awesome, man. Good for you, yeah. for sticking to your, your, your guts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I just stuck with it. Yeah. So what projects do we have coming up, man? What else do we have looking forward to for twenty twenty three? I know the Seven Tribes got a lot going on always, but what you got going on for you? Because you got this solo project, this is your second one. So do we expect maybe another one coming soon? No, we no, at? no. Yeah, for sure. You know, like like for the first time, like I can honestly say, like for the first time in my like musical career this is the first time that I, like I have like I just got my foot on the gas and like I, like I know for sure like in my heart that is no turning back at this point you know that's it like I just got to keep going so you know like the people can move like they can most definitely ex uh, expect a new project you know like for myself and in, in um, 2023 and you know and you can also expect you know like a new like seven tries project also this year so you know so like it's definitely like some big things coming up this year, you know, for sure, for sure. Awesome. DJ Banks, you already know. Eric the Red, tell him how to sh follow you. Everything. Give yourself a shout out, my brother. Good to Yeah, it's your boy Eric the Red. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at, at Eric the Red. Um Eric the Red X I I I or Eric the Red 
X triple I. And yeah, you can find me on Instagram. You know, like I haven't even, I haven't been on Twitter too much because it's getting kind of strange over there. So <laughs> it's getting weird on Twitter. So I just been on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram, and you know, and you can find my music on like Spotify, Apple Music, just Eric the Red Diamond Cutter. And oh, and also, you know, you can follow like me and my brothers on um, Seven Tribes. You know, um, Seven Tribes dot com or also Seven Tribes on Instagram. You know, yeah, you know, you could you could find us there. You know, so. You know, we got we got music, we got merch, we got all types of cool shit going on, so you know, check it out. Yes, sir, you heard it here first, man. We are Jersey Magazine, Eric the Red. Sign off. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Of course, man. Thank, Thank you. you.